A senator who very much agrees with that sentiment, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. He serves on the Homeland Security Committee, and he joins me now from Capitol Hill. Senator Graham, good morning. Good to have you with us today. Good morning. You know, Thank you. you said in a soundbite that we played right before we went to break that you believe that this issue is of such great importance that if the administration messes this up, in your view, uh, it could bring the administration down? Yeah, not, not just trying Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in civilian court, but reading tariffs their rights uh, right after they try to blow up an airplane with uh, American citizens on board, criminalizing the war, the whole process, I think, could bring this administration down because it makes no sense to most Americans. They understand that uh, these terrorists are, are not common criminals, but are bent on our destruction. and taking these folks back to New York, giving them the same constitutional rights as an American citizen, putting them in the middle of 8 million people, $200 million to conduct the trial, criminalizing the war makes no sense. And this is a real risk to this administration because a lot of people are wondering, is this really keeping us safe? I don't think it is. You know, a lot of people think that, that, that these two ideas are a bit at odds. The idea that you want to put all these people through the, the criminal uh, justice sure. system and read Miranda rights uh, to Abdul Matalab, mm -hmm. for example, and then on the other hand mm -hmm. say there are Islamic extremists out there who are hell-bent against us and want to kill us. Uh, you know, these sure. two ideas are not necessarily getting along very well. Well, they are contradictory uh, at their b basic core. We never read a German or Japanese prisoner in World War II their rights when we captured them on the battlefield, when we captured the German saboteurs that landed in Florida to commit espionage in the United States, uh, they were held as enemy combatants. Mm -hmm. I've been a military lawyer for 25 years. The military justice system is superior to our civilian system when it comes to wartime matters. The military is set up to protect classified information, and it's a better venue to try people who are, who are military threats against the country. Yeah. There's a reason that America has never done this in our history. Never in the history of the United States have we taken an unlawful enemy combatant, a non-citizen, and put them in civilian in court, and there's a reason for that. I, I want to get to the practical terms here. You, you are planning to force another vote on this. You brought up an amendment on this yes. uh, to move yes. this, this trial. It was shot down in November by a 54 to 45 vote. Is it, I'm yeah. going to also bring up the six senators who you're working with on this because it's a very impressive uh, group of senators, yeah. so everybody can get a, a look at who's involved here. Uh, there, ha there was an article last week, I guess, in Newsweek that said that you're getting somewhere, uh, that, that there's movement on this. Is this, is this trial going to go away in New York? Well, I hope it never happens in New York because not only would it be expensive, I think it would be just an incredible misstep in the war on terror. The, the amendment that I offered will become legislation that will prevent funding to transfer people from Guantanamo Bay to New York City, and uh, it will deny funding to the administration to do that. We can't tell them what venue to try the case in, but we can stop them from having the money right. to move them, and that's an effective way to stop the trials in New York. I think a lot of people see Eric Holder at really at the center, the Attorney General at the center yeah. of this philosophy of looking at these terrorists a little bit differently than the prior yeah. administration did. Has he responded to you? Do you know if he is, you know, seeing things your way to any extent right now? Well, I like him a lot, but I, we've had a strong disagreement over taking Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and the co-conspirators into civilian court. It is criminalizing the war. We do agree that about 50 or more of these detainees at Guantanamo Bay should be held indefinitely without trial under the law of armed conflict, mm -hmm. but we've had a major departure here. And the president said recently, we're at war with al-Qaeda. If we're at war with al-Qaeda, we ought to act like it. When you're at war with somebody, you don't turn them over to the civilian yep. authorities to try them in civilian court, you All keep right. it in the military These are arena. Definitions that are extremely important, uh, as you point Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Senator Lindsey Graham, always a pleasure to talk to you. Take care. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Right All about right. 920, Martha, in a moment here at Matt.